Amanda Stanton, Josh Murray grossed me out, actually. Everybody gets asked about their exes, especially celebrities. Especially celebrities who fell in love in front of an audience. Amanda Stanton and Josh Murray fell in love on camera, and then promptly fell out of love. Police were called, so we think that it's safe to say that they were some hard feelings. So when she was finally asked about one particular floor of Josh's, we suppose that it's no surprise that Amanda didn't hold back. She says that he was kinda gross. Okay, so, Amanda Stanton and Josh Murray feel for each other on the previous season of Bachelor in Paradise. She's on this season, too. Remember when she was mom shamed for daring to be a reality star? People gave her a hard time for going on Bachelor in Paradise when she's a mom but, as she pointed out when she clapped back, it really doesn't take that long to film. But way back on season 3, the two of them fell for each other. They even cuddled quite conspicuously, which turns out to be strangely relevant to this story. Josh proposed to Amanda, she said yes, and they went off together, happily ever. Temporarily. Amanda Stanton and Josh Murray broke up, which isn't really surprising when you look at the success rate of reality relationships. Or actual relationships, for that matter. They've clearly gone their separate ways. Josh Murray says that he's totally over Amanda Stanton, and they were both moving on. But when Amanda Stanton was interviewed recently for a podcast that is charmingly called The Morning Breath, we guessed that she felt that it was time to let loose what she'd been holding back. This wasn't about her breakup with Josh Murray or about the sex or about this season of Bachelor in Paradise, it was about Josh Murray looking sweaty on camera back during season 3. Amanda Stanton doesn't start off being harsh. But she definitely acknowledges that she noticed. You could see that Josh had been sweating through his shirt, very visibly. I mean, it is really hot there, I don't really sweat at all and I would get a little bit sweaty there, but I think it was like a health condition. It's filmed in Mexico, so we totally get it. And there are plenty of health conditions that can cause excess sweating. So can things like certain foods, consumption of alcohol, and just genetic predispositions. You know how they hug on camera when they choose each other, among other times? Amanda confessed that those were some gross moments for her. I remember at the end, I was trying, like I was really happy, but he would like, hug me and I was kind of grossed out. His shirt was soaking wet. Sweat does feel genuinely unpleasant. She gets kind of mean about it, though. With Josh and I, there were so many things that were great. But there was just something that felt a little bit off, he's a sweaty person. She's not blaming the breakup on his body sweat glands. We do wonder what the factors involved were. Because we'd think that Mexico is as hot as the surface of the sun and everybody's drinking all day would explain any sweat to anybody's satisfaction. No health condition there required. Though they were no longer allowed to drink as much, given Bachelor in Paradise's New Year rules. But maybe it persisted when they were living together. The fact of the matter is that different folks are wired differently. Some people think that 70 degrees is too cold, others think it's too hot, and others think that it's just right. Similarly, different amounts of sweat are normal or abnormal for different individuals. We wish that Amanda Stanton would be a little nicer about it, but we also hope that her next love doesn't make her feel like she's just been slimed. We guess that we should keep an eye out for who has the driest skin in paradise this season, huh?